I'm going to read chapter 23, A Light in the Sky. He was actually flying. He quickly discovered that it was quite difficult to keep a plane going in the right direction. The wind really was dreadfully fierce and the snow swirled around so he could barely see in front of the little aircraft. Follow the brightest star in the sky, Winston told himself, remembering Eduardo's words. But it was quite difficult to even know where the sky was. The snowstorm became a full-blown blizzard and the plane buffered in all directions. Winston shivered and concentrated on trying to keep hold of the letter. He kept looking up for flashes of bright light that could be the North Star. As he was pulling the plane up out of quite a sharp dive, he spotted a little light in the sky. It blinked and he tried to find it again. Aha! There it is! It was some way off in the distance. A little bright red circle of light. What could it possibly be? Winston banked to the left towards the strange glowing orb, but it disappeared into the thick white fog of the blizzard. Oh, great cheese and crackers, exclaimed Winston. All of a sudden, the red glowing light was almost on top of him. He was heading straight for it. It was quite late to avoid the collision. Winston grabbed hold of the letter with both paws and crouched as low as he could in his seat. A confusion of fur and legs and antlers raced towards him. He closed his eyes tight. Crash! The plane, the tiny propeller snapped off and the wings almost completely torn away. It spiralled towards faster and faster and faster. The wind whistled past Winston's ears and he carefully opened his eyes. Dark shapes were speeding towards him. Buildings, he realised, big ones. He was still above the city. The large, wide roofs of skyscrapers were rushing towards him. Suddenly, Winston was thrown clear from the plane and found himself falling through the night sky before landing with a wallop in the deep snow drift on the roof of a tall building. The last wind thing Winston heard before everything went cold and white was the sound of a tiny toy plane crashing and splattering into pieces.